Lord tonight. Yeah. Happy to see every one of you in the house of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm um, ready to be a set time. Thank you much. Uh, let us go to the Bible. Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse 3 to 14. As he said upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to, the, to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall work calls. Call. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached on all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us, uh, you can sit down, uh, let us read uh, John 12, verse 23 and 26. John 12, 23 and 26. Hallelujah. And Jesus answered, answered them, saying, The hour is come, that the Son of Man should be, should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground, and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Right. Hallelujah. Tonight is a privilege for me to be here. And I believe it's a privilege for you also to be here. Amen. Hallelujah. Because in the house of the Lord, uh, the enemy tried to do everything for you not to be here tonight. Amen. But by the grace of God, hallelujah, Amen. you overcome every struggle of the enemy to be here tonight. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Tonight we're just going to uh, just speak what the Lord put in our heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe you come here uh, just to hear what the Lord say to your heart and to Amen. follow the word of God. That the reason I come here, that the reason you come here. Amen. My subject tonight, are you ready to take side with Jesus? That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the subject tonight I'm going to talk on. We see Jesus, the disciples, they were asking Jesus three questions. Three questions. If you look in the book of uh, Matthew 24, verse 3, he said, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, 
saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? That's one of them. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? That is second. And of the end of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. So they were interested to know, because this is, I believe, as you are a Christian, as I'm a Christian, this is something we are interested to know. When will be the time of our Lord will come? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the disciples, they are interested to know. But what they were interested to know, the hour, the day, the date. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they know the only man can give that answer is Jesus. Because they know the rabbis, they don't have that answer. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. They know the Pharisees, they don't, they don't have that answer. So as they are with the master, they try to, to, to get that opportunity to, to, to have an answer. Hallelujah. Because they know Jesus will, will leave them and to go back where he came from. Hallelujah. Amen. So they want to know when, will, when Jesus will come back. As I said, uh, the last time I was uh, sharing on, that, uh, on the same chapter, uh, I was saying... Uh, the disciples, they want to know exactly as a good friend Jesus was for them. They want to know exactly when that good friend will come back. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you have a good friend, uh, maybe that friend come uh, from Kenya. Hallelujah. Amen. Or Haiti. is your good friend. He's been with you for long. Hallelujah. But that one say, I'm going back. But you want to know when that one going to come back. Mm -hmm. Amen. If that one really is a good friend for you, mm -hmm. hallelujah, Amen. you want to know when that one going to come back. Amen. So Jesus was a good friend, hallelujah, Amen. for the disciples. Amen. Because they've been with him all the days. Hallelujah. Amen. So the disciples, they asked Jesus, when shall this thing be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming? Hallelujah. Amen. And the end of the world. I believe it was a hard question to ask. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus as God in flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. He has wisdom. Hallelujah. To know how to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. If you see in verse 36... We we'll see what Jesus say in that, the same chapter. Hallelujah. Amen. As I say, the disciples they want to know the date when Jesus will come. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered, "But of that day and now, no, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only." Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. But of that day. In our no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Amen. So what the disciples they were looking for, to know the date of the coming of the Lord Jesus. So that Jesus answered them in another way. Because he knows they are looking for something as a date, uh, as a date where they can say, Jesus will come, maybe 2020. Jesus will come in 2026. Maybe something, they were looking something like that. Mm -hmm. So they want to know the date. But Jesus answered them, hallelujah. hallelujah. But of that day and now, no, no man. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Not even the angels, hallelujah, who are Amen. close to God. Oh, yeah. They don't know the hour. Mm -hmm. That's why me and you, we have to repay ourselves. Yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. In verse 42, it says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. Hallelujah. Amen. You got to watch. Because in verse 36, it says, I don't know. No man know. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Even the angels, they don't know. Hallelujah. Amen. But there is something you have to do. Watch. Hallelujah. Amen. What does that mean? Watch. Therefore, for ye know not what, your, uh, your, uh, what hour your Lord does come. That's right. 
So what? Meaning, you must stay in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there is no other way you can watch. Because it's not something physical. You will see. But you must stay in the world. Abide in the world. That's how you watch. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you don't know the hour the Lord will come. Amen. In verse 24, it says, Therefore, be also ready for in such an hour as ye take not the Son of Man coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus, because they were asking those questions, they have something in their mind. And Jesus answered the question, not in the way they want to hear that. Hallelujah. Amen. But anyhow, the Lord Jesus, he make a way to, to let them understand. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. What they have to do. Yes. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus, in verse uh, 7, continue as you read. He say, the nation will rise against nation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Those are the things will pass before I come. But it's not yet. Hallelujah, my coming. Amen, amen, amen. Those things must pass. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. They, shall be they shall deliver you to be afflicted and shall kill you. So he, he let the disciples know those things will come before you. Mm -hmm. But remember, it's not yet come. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I told you, it, been, it will be like maybe 2010. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Something like that, just, uh, just put it there. So don't say, I told you. But you must watch. Those things must happen before I come. That's right. So the Lord Jesus Christ been instructed the disciples to know they have to watch. And this is what, this is the things will be happening before he's coming. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe me and you tonight as Christians, we must watch. As I say, watch is mean you stay with the world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. What the world say, that's what you do. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we're going back to our subject. Are you ready to take side with Jesus? Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As the church of the living God, I believe it's the time for you. It's the time for me. As Joshua said, me and my house, Hallelujah. Amen. We are serving the Lord. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. It is not time to play with church. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not time to come and sleep. Mm -hmm. It is the time to be alive. Right. Hallelujah. To hear the Lord speaking unto you. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said in verse 20, 25, in John 12, verse 25, he that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. It was a hard thing to say. He that loveth his life shall lose it. Maybe you say, I should love my life. That's my life. I should love it. But now Jesus said, you should hate. You have to hate it. Hallelujah. Right. If you don't hate your life, you shall lose it. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. I believe you come to church to hear the preacher saying, to hear the preacher saying, he that loveth his life shall, shall, shall have eternal life. No, it's not that. He that loveth his life shall lose it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So tonight, I don't say you go somewhere and to kill yourself. That's not uh, what the subject is saying. The, the, Jesus said, he that loves his life shall lose it. Mm -hmm. But we're going to see what in the mind of Jesus, of Jesus as he said this word. Mm -hmm. Going to see Father. Hallelujah. Amen. And he that hated his life, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Somebody hated his life. Hallelujah. But happy are you if you hate your life tonight. Because you shall receive eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. But if you love your life, you shall lose it. Right. 
it's a hard saying. Hallelujah. Amen. If any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, they shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father or no. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus said in Matthew 7, verse 13, 14, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the word that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate, and now the word that leads to life. And only a few find it. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I had saved. But the Lord had a purpose to all this word he was speaking. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. He wants to let you know tonight, if you love your life, mm -hmm. it's the worst thing you can do in your life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you shall lose it. Amen. That now again, Hallelujah. It's the word. Stay in the word. Right. This is the now again. Right. As long as you put, your, you put yourself out of the world, you're already in the board way. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So that means you have to stand that now away. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because in that now way, now way there is eternal, is eternal, eternal life. That's why he say, he that hated his life shall have eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He shall keep it. And tonight I want to ask you, what side are you? Because you must take a side. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because Amen. the subject, are you ready to take side with Jesus? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we know there are two ways. That's right. They are the way of hell, mm -hmm. way of heaven. Both of them start by H, heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. But you decided to see what you're going to take tonight. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's heaven and hell sound almost the same. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But they are really, really uh, something different. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus saying, the now and white gate, hallelujah, in Matthew 37, verse 13, 14, he said, those, he said, and many enter through it. And that word of destruction. And that word of destruction is those people who love the life who get that word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it seems strange. Because if somebody loves his life, he will not take a word of destruction. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you know that word, you will, will get killed in that word. And he loves his life. That's why those things are very deep. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You say you love your life, but you take a word of distraction. I believe you, you will take a word where it can lead you to eternal life. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus said, many enter through it. Hallelujah. Amen. And that word of distraction. Because they love their life. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to understand. You still understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In Deuteronomy 30, verse 15, 20. See, I said before you today, life and prosperity. Hallelujah. Amen. Death and destruction. Right. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, mm -hmm. to walk in, 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 obe or, in obedience to him, and to keep his comments his decrees and laws, then you will live and increase. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. Amen. So Moses, the servant of the Lord, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. he said, I put before you today, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. life and prosperity. Amen. Those Life and prosperity is for those who hate their life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because those who hate their life, they will take that, that life, uh, they will work in that way, mm -hmm. which is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the now way. Hallelujah. Amen. 
In that narrow way, it is where there is life and prosperity. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, I said before you, life and prosperity. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And death and destruction. So those who will accept death and destruction, that those who will say, I love my life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you take the, if you take, uh, the word who will lead to uh, many enter into that world, and you will end up by death and destruction. Mm -hmm. And Moses set them before them. They have to choose. Mm -hmm. they, have to take a, they have to take a stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not Moses who, who tell them, this is, the way you, this is the word you have to choose. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what you have to choose. He said, no, I put it before you. It is unto you. If you want to take life and, and prosperity, That's right. it is unto you to take death or destruction. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. It is you make that choice. Amen. It is me make that choice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, for I command you to, to love the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. To walk in obedience to in, in Him. Hallelujah. Amen. To keep his comments, decrees, and laws. So the servant of the Lord, his position is to let you know this is the way you have to take. Mm -hmm. But it is unto you to choose. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, that, that choice, Moses couldn't make uh, that, made that choice for them. Mm -hmm. They have to make that choice by themselves. Amen. As to now, me and you, Every one of us, we have to make a choice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We, want, we have to know what side are, are, are you tonight. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it is time to come to church. Yes, we come to church. Mm -hmm. But what side are you? That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 17, say, But if your heart turn away and you are not obedient, and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, death and destruction, I declare to you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. If your heart, hallelujah, Amen. turn away from God, mm -hmm. you may be sitting here tonight and your heart turn away from God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We may come to church. Hallelujah. But your heart turned away from God. Amen. You're not walking in obedience with the word of God. Right. And the Lord saying, in the mouth of his prophet uh, Moses, death and destruction, hallelujah, Amen. will wait upon you. Amen. I declare to you this day that you will suddenly be destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. That verse 18. You will not live long. In the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. So he said, if your heart turn away from God, That's right. I want to let you know. Hallelujah. Amen. Because tonight this was straight unto me and to you. Mm -hmm. It is not on the time of Moses no more. It's already passed for the time of Moses. Mm -hmm. It is for me and you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you sitting here tonight, Hallelujah. Your heart turned away from God. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Remember, death and destruction stay. Hallelujah. Waiting to get you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And you will not prosper. That's what the prophet Moses is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not live long. That's Hallelujah. Right. That's right. It's in heart. But that's what the Lord's saying. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are not staying with God, if you are not living by the word of God, you will not live long. That's right. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witness against you. Right. Verse 19. That I have set before you life and death. Hallelujah. You want to be sure. Say, I put before you this day, mm 
And I call as witness, heaven and earth, the sea. What I'm telling you is the truth. I put life and death before you. I put blessings and curses before you. Hallelujah. It is unto you to choose what you need tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want blessing, you will get blessing. Mm -hmm. If you want curses, you, curses, you, you will get it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want life, you will get it. Amen. If you want death, you will get it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now choose life. Right. Now the prophet says, now choose life so that you and your children may live. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is what the Lord said unto you tonight. Oh, yeah. It is not for the time of Moses no more. It's unto you and me tonight. Amen. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. And that you may love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. For the Lord is your life. I believe you will say amen to that. Amen. Because the Lord is your life. That's what the Bible is saying. Amen. And he will give you many years. In the land he swore to give to your fathers Abraham right. and Jacob. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want you to choose tonight. Choose life or death. Amen. But you have to make that choice. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. 